Hey guys, what's up? As you can see, I'm still in my hotel. So I'm really enjoying my time in Oslo and I will be leaving back to Stockholm tomorrow, unfortunately, and I will really be missing this room. But I realized that I actually have time for today or I realized that actually I have time in the evening. So I decided why not make a new video, right? So this will be the new video. And I was thinking about like uh, different concepts and actually I realized that I haven't made a video about making this kind of different list sounds of melodic techno, especially three different types that will come, like you will hear in every single song. And I thought maybe it could be a nice approach to, just to show you how you actually can make it. Actually, what is the tricks and tips and what you should uh, consider while you are making those vo those late sounds or while you are using these sounds in your track. So it will be basically plug sounds, brass sounds and the mono lead. But before we start with the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button so that you get notifications when we make a new video, new video like this. Other than that, let's take a look. So I have kind of already three different channels over here. So what I want to do actually um, put different put serum on all of them and then just build the sound together so that I can explain why what you should think about or how you make these sounds and if you do it together it will be probably easy for you to understand. So before we start with the sound I let me show you the serum patch. It's just initial patch we don't have anything and I think it would be the nice idea just put some MIDI's MIDI notes over here. So let's go for for example, F, and let's do something super fast and super, uh, I would say, easy and super. It's something that could you will always see in melodic techno tracks. And in this case, that is actually the one, the first note and the fifth note and the sixth note, and they often plays actually the uh, kind of uh, poly rhythm. So it will not follow the rhythm of the track, but I mean by that I will show you. If we take F minor, for example, this is the first note, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And of course you will have the seventh over here. What we are going to do, utilize just one, fifth, and sixth. And it will be really simple and it will be, like I said, it will be used a lot in melodic techno. So one first, the fifth, and the sixth. And let's turn this off. And then we reduce this one to the like uh, three, like it's zero point what, 66 bars or the quarter bars. The sound will be like repeating itself all the time. If I do it this way, for example, and we will be down the bar, this will be quite fast. So you probably don't want to have it this fast. So to make it a bit more entertaining, let's multiply it by two and extend it like this. So I will say this is already like melodic techno sounding, but what we are going to do, we are going to make a plug sound. But before I start explaining things, I think it is good to just jump into the theory slightly. So what is a plug, right? Like plug is more or less this. So you will hear like a, this sharp increase in the beginning and reach the peak point. And then you will also hear a really rapid decrease in the sound. This could be the volume. And if in techno, this, this is often also the cutoff filter. So a filter opens, the filter is open in the beginning and then it just closed very fast at the meantime. Uh, and if we try to duplicate that in Serum, so we have the patch over here, right? In Serum, the first envelope is always the volume envelope. So let's put it something like this. We have super rapid increase in the volume and then kind of rapid decrease in this volume as well. But this noise, actually not enough because it's just, while it is a nice sound, it is still having just too much high end. So what we are going to utilize at this point is actually, I mean, even using a uh, cutoff filter and closing it down while the we are voluming down the sound as well. So what we are going to open the filter, let's put the drive and we will take envelope two, put a similar shape, carry it over the cutoff over here and let's do it one sided and close it up. Let's try something else, something like this. Without the filter, take a look at the, the timber of the sound. 
and becomes immediately more pleasant and warmer and even more analog sounding probably but that is often not enough and there are other things that you can utilize and the second thing is like putting another oscillator probably tune it down one octave and then you have this kind of a bit more grittier sound you can try actually detuning the both oscillators sorry and get the sound a little bit like uh, unstable the thing that you can do here is actually endless you can use the unison and make it wider in both of slow sliders or you can actually kind of uh, in introduce different uh, effects and then make the sound richer and often more often than not you will probably use kind of distortion and let's put the drive the trick over here is just if you keep the drive level all the time same it could be like almost going back to the no filter phase because you're adding all these harmonics and then you're not cutting them off and they kind of make the sound brighter so you may think about putting another filter and putting the same envelope on the cutoff again so that you are even cut off the additional harmonics some of the additional harmonics that your uh, distortion introduces Without them. this distortion compressed the sound a little bit in the meantime introducing additional harmonics so it gets this uh, makes basically your plug sound we were here we were like this after distortion it becomes more like a slight like this uh, and gets the sound a little bit richer the most one of the most important thing with this type of sounds is the shape so you also always have to consider a little bit the shape of the sound and if you for example introduce a reverb to this sound which is often done a lot and let's try it let's make it a bigger one so it's kind of a really, really nice sound the problem is though to take a look at the initial plug because the reverb is really big the sound starts to disappear so back to the paint so what is happening here is actually you have this plug right like this and then when you introduce the reverb the sound actually turns into this so you start to get the you start to lose the feeling of the plug it turns into more like a lead sound so what you can introduce at this point just to make it more plug here actually you can either put the reverb on your return or your sent and return channel or you can also put it into the chain over here which we are going to do just because it's easier to understand let's duplicate this take away the first reverb and this chain will be our dry sound because it is just dry sound and the second chain we are going to make it 100% wet so it will be just wet sound we are going to call it wet and let's decrease the volume a little bit at the moment it's, the sound is similar but what we are going to do is actually introduce a compressor and then we are going to sidechain this one to plug itself so when the initial plug hits we are going to duck the wet signal and then when the plug disappears because the plugs are super short then we let the wet chain go so that we can still hear the reverb so let's try that increase the ratio And then one important thing over here is actually look ahead so you can actually duck the sound before the plug hits look ahead means that you are going to duck the sound like 10 milliseconds before the plug hits so which is helps which helps the plug to cut through the reverb actually so to understand the effect a little bit more i will just play the red chain so you can hear this like a wobbling effect or this ducking effect 
You can even cut initial sound with it. Together again. So you still have this initial plug. So what happens? We go back to the paint. So when the plug hits like this, let's say this is our reverb, we are cutting off this area of the reverb. So the reverb becomes like this, like the reverse version of the plug. So that when the plug hits over here, we can easily hear it. It's much more easier to cut through the reverb itself. So this is a very important trick, especially with the plug sounds. Be careful with your effects, especially the delay and the reverb. So we can apply it, we could apply it actually the same thing over here with the delay, which can we can immediately do. Let's take a delay, introduce it over here. Let's make it something like this. Because we still have this guy over here, let's decrease the feedback. We can still hear the uh, plug, even though we have the light. To make the effect a bit more drastic, we can do like this. So basically, the idea is keeping the plug the plug. And Another thing I would suggest considering with the plug sound, whenever you introduce a new uh, new sound, new effect, like it could be chorus, it could be delay, it could be even reverb. Uh, so you can consider using the same envelope you are using to plug into your, like in this case, cutoff or the mix or the like the part drive, for example, here. Could be definitely an option if you do it like this. <laughs> distortion will be much more balanced like a black sound so consider these two sim simple tricks uh, think about taking the wet chain thinking about using envelope for the different purposes of course there are a lot of tricks that you can do here basically layering it to different things and detuning here using unison using exactly the same things over here as well for example you can think about putting your envelope even the here so the sound <laughs> Initial kind of distort or uh, initial detune effect with the envelope itself. Distribute the envelope over and see what happens. And the one last trick probably is the noise because this is like really sharp sounds. So you can get you can actually layer it with kind of percussion sound, which in this case a noise will be just do fine. Let's take a, a ping noise. Put an envelope in the level, make it even a bit more noisier. Here you go. Basically, we make it much more like a more analog sound and it's easier to hear. It will also cut through better in the mix as well. So these are like simple tricks that you can utilize when you are making plug sound. And then we are going to actually take another serum and make a brass sound. And I think brass sound get quite popular lately. I will say, I guess because of the uh, afterlife, because they were using a lot of bleed brasses, right? You will hear it everywhere. And if we take a look of, at the shape of the brass sound, let's take a new here. You will see that it's kind of the opposite of the plug. So it will probably have an envelope, something like this. It is both again cut off or the volume could be a little bit like this because here, when you use cut off, you don't hear it much. So you would like to hear that initial build up so you can have the volume envelope a little bit less drastic. But the cut off envelope, more or, die, more or less, it will be something like that. The thing with this one is actually brass. If you think about like the instruments that you are blowing the air in, so the air builds up, the pressure builds up, the sound develops, gets a bit, uh, I would say, noisier, the volume gets high. And then when you don't blow it anyway, anymore, the sound will drop kind of fast. So this is the kind of, the volume going down. So if you consider these things like in real life from the real instruments, you will actually understand a little bit better and then you will uh, learn faster as well. So let's make a brass. So we have this guy over here. If you go back here and open up the syrup and so let's solo this and let's put this guy over here. What we can do in this case, I wouldn't I'm not aiming now like the super long breaths or super fast breath sound. So we let's build something a bit longer. The easiest way probably will be let's do something like this. 
right? And then let's multiply this two, zoom it out. I don't have anything in mind, so I don't know how this will sound. But one five six is like kind of always works more or less. Let's try. Let's make it a bit different. And let's just combine them. Let's take this. Okay, it was I actually don't know, like I said, what I want. Maybe just be something simple thing like this. Good enough. The, today we are not making melodies, so today we are designing the sound. So let's start with this and open up a syrup. So remember, we will have this initial development on the envelope and then cut off right afterwards. So let's do it in this volume envelope, something like this. Probably this is too long. Let's shorten up. Remember, we would like to have the volume a little bit like a guess the increase level a bit faster. Reason for that, like I mentioned, we will have this uh, filter envelope, which will be a bit more aggressive. And let's put it here again. And put it on one side. Let's make it a bit faster. I will probably put a bit to this. Much more balanced but i would think at the moment because we want to have this breath sound we would like to have go a little bit like a lower pitches so that we get this big sound let's go for it we can go even further let's try this yeah, much better the one thing that often you will hear with this type of sound actually uh, Tuning the one of those layers like the seven half note uh, above or five note five half note below. So basically, we are creating a power chord. So if we try here, if we take the zero, semi to seven half or five down, because I'm thinking of using a sub as well. Let's put this to seven high. Or we can even try this way. Let's keep this zero and put this guy seven semi notes up and put this guy. Something like this. The main thing that we have done with the uh, putting the tuning a bit down and up on different things it will still work here but this time let's go for the unison and make this sound bigger what we are going to do in this case actually use the envelope for the detune so that we get this initial weird noise and then we tune it back so let's try A similar thing can be done over here as well. Just this kind of nice richness to the sound. Uh, and if you take a look at the afterlife sound, you will all more or less always hear that there's a like white noise layer on top of that. And let's put the same thing over here, analog. Let's get a white noise. Because we are standing into the filter, so we don't need to think about too much about the envelope because the cutoff is also cutting off the white noise. Mm -hmm. 
compared to the plug noise, actually it is fine to use reverb type of sound because the build up is slow in this one, so you don't build too much reverb in the beginning. So if you add reverb, this becomes more or less like from here, it becomes like like this. So the it is not as crucial as the plug noise to use the compression for uh, the reverb here. If we take a look. You will hear that it sounds quite nice and fine. On the other hand, when you use this type of uh, brush sound, you should be careful about the delays. Let me illust illustrate what I mean. Let's put this delay here. And just let's put it somewhere here. Because you are playing this quite slow, the delay effect will come back and it will actually distort your design slow feeling. It's exactly what's up here, if it decreases. So when you use delay, I actually would suggest that you duck the delay. Uh, and if you do it here, do it exactly the same way that we did before. Like this one is our red chain, uh, dry chain, right? Dry. And this one is our red chain. And let's do it 100%. And you would like to use a compressor. And side chain it to itself again. So this will give us much, much clear uh, lead sound with a nice delay background and then you can even mash this up with a glue compressor and a reverb and that will more or less work more of most of the times but you should keep this like a, a like a really not that flat <laughs> nice and easy and of course depending on the vibe that you are going for you can definitely go for like a, I don't know bigger reverbs bigger delays and sim in similar way you can actually utilize uh, the distortion over here putting envelope 2 on top of that and here you go it is kind of bite the sound more or less. I would even consider sometimes like using a chorus and again using an envelope on top of that. Again it depends on your, the sound that you're aiming for but this will be more or less gives you like nice and easy breath sound and you can go really crazy. What I hear often when in, uh, for example, tail of a sound, they put kind of a like high pitched, uh, simple sound on top of that. Something like this. It just gives this initial layer, kind of makes the breast scream. You should be a little bit careful about this one if you use like a sawtooth because it is it has too much harmonics. It gets like eats the or distorts the disturbs the ear but if you use something like simple like triangle or sine wave especially triangle i would say give this kind of really nice uh, flavor to the sound and then you can play around with it so i think this is more or less for the uh, breath sounds i see that my battery is dying so i will try to go really really fast and the last sound is actually more or less this big mono sound like sound right and to do that let's illustrate it by using again this time let's go for six four no sorry six four one this is also a kind of classic i will say you will hear this a lot and of course let's duplicate this by two we get this it will even think like uh, duplicating one more time. This type of sounds, let's take back the paint again, will have this kind of really nice big envelope. But I will say, 
like this was the plug and this was the brass and this one will be more or less like this like this big sound like beefy big sound that takes a lot of space from your track and you should be careful about using this one because it will really curtain most many of the other instruments that you have especially vocals you should be really careful and like this big beefy uh, envelope but you can do if you want to add this a little bit flavor you can decrease this sustain a little bit increase a bit this one and increase a bit today so make this initial uh, envelope visible and this type of sounds often quite big for example you will have this kind of super unitions everywhere and this one probably tuned one down More often than not, this type of lead sounds has LFO, and this LFO could be on the cutoff, it could be on your unigen, it could be like any other parameter, so the sound gets at least movement because the difference that you can make here is limited because if you, for example, decrease it too much, then it will sound like a plug. If you increase the attack too much, it will sound like brass. So if you, you more or less want to keep this envelope shape, but you can actually introduce wobbles and parameter place so, so the sound gets something like this. So it is still kind of lead sound. What I mean by that is actually if I take uh, LFO here, put it on cutoff. Let's put a dot. Right. So this gives this kind of initial movement to the sound so that you can do whatever you want. You can definitely utilize really weird shapes over here, right? You can utilize like uh, anything that you have. Go darker. Do the similar thing in the... This type of sounds often has a big reverb, it's like you can have a double reverb. And probably chorus, probably distortion. And of course, a uh, compressor. And probably kind of put the band compressor to make it more aggressive. And of course, because, let me show you what I mean this, by those big sounds, take a look at this, it is all over the place, like it's probably burning at the moment of your face, so you have to consider like uh, making some uh, movement with your EQ so that you have place for the other sounds. And you, of course, like I said, you can utilize it. Envelopes made in some of the uh, parameters, but not that aggressive. And of course, LFO for almost anything that you have for any parameters. So, like I said, I see that I know six person percent uh, left on my battery, so I have to wrap this video. And I will say this three sound is always comes up in one of the techno tracks, and it's really good to understand each this type of each type of lead sound like this so that you can make any track that you want in your in your head and i think this is it for today's video and i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something and until next time goodbye